the final Quick Start Setup module covers enabling security access. After rebooting, if security access was deselected, we see that changes cannot be made to the Setup Security page. To temporarily enable access to the page at a later time, use a terminal program with either the console port or telnet and enter the command enable secure access. Users will be able to access the security settings until the smart server is rebooted. As indicated, to permanently enable access through the page, enter the command as enable secure access always. If you do not have access to the console application, you can use the manual secure access reset instead. Note that a secure access reset also temporarily sets the smart server's IP address back to the factory default of 192.168.1.222. To perform a secure access reset, hold down the service button with a small screwdriver as shown and use a small wire such as a paper clip to press the reset switch located just below the output LEDs. After releasing the reset switch, continue holding down the service pin for about 30 seconds until the red I.O. LEDs extinguish and while the yellow service LED flashes. Release the service pin after the service LED ceases flashing and remains lit. The smart server will continue booting, which takes about three and a half minutes to complete. The time required for a reboot will increase as device templates, XIF files, and FPMs are added to the smart server. Once the smart server is completed booting, add its default subnet to your computer's routing tables and open the smart server in a browser using its default IP address as described previously. Make the desired changes in the security setup page and reboot the smart server again to return the unit to the IP settings entered previously. This completes the procedure for setting up a smart server. The next series of videos covers the installation of software tools provided with smart server and their purpose.